right Let's see what we got here getting everything going getting everything set up one second one second one second we are okay so give me two seconds let me make sure I got everything I have a treat for everybody today hold on I gotta get Pat on the line so he can help me out with the uh, Q&A and all that kind of good stuff so get Pat on the line and we got comments open good morning Kenny Diane how y'all doing all right look I got a treat for everybody today um, just give me one second and I'll be right on all right let me all right I think I got everything set up how you doing Instagram Facebook. All right, Pat is having technical difficulties. I got to get two more things and we are set. Show without that. What's everybody doing? Let me show you what the treat is. All right, here, let me take this off the screen. Take this off the screen. Put that on. Take that off. And then welcome to the show. Bam. Put that off. All right, everybody. I got something in the refrigerator cooling down so you can't move and cut me. Cold. He's cold. Now he's not moving too good because he's been in. I threw him in the refrigerator, slowing down a little bit. But um, we're gonna have ourselves a treat. So um, I've never seen this done on the grill, but we're gonna do it on the grill. It's grill beef style. We're doing lobster ginger scallion. All right. So. Um, the only difference is uh, with the lobster ginger scallion, it's a Cantonese way of doing lobster. They call it lobster on the bone. Um, the only difference is, is when you cut up the lobster um, to do it true Cantonese uh, lobster ginger scallion, you cut up the lobster uh, live and uh, you coat it with uh, some uh, cornstarch, right? Just a little bit and then you flash fry it in grease. What the cornstarch does is it coats the meat and the shell and everything and it seals it up so it doesn't get soggy with oil. All right, so, but the cornstarch also plays a second part into the sauce to make it the ginger scallion sauce. So we're still gonna use a little bit of cornstarch in the sauce, but we're not gonna put it on the lobster because we want the lobster to get a little bit of smoky flavor from the grill, right? So. Um, I'm going to use the Beast Roaster without the beer can chicken adapter. Um, you know, that's the kind of cool thing about this is you take the uh, beer can chicken part off and uh, you can use it as a vegetable roaster, seafood roaster, any kind of roaster you want and you'll get that smokiness because you got, it's got a perforated bottom. All right, so um, first we have some announcements. Uh, I need to get my um, I'm thirsty it is humid this morning we've had a couple days where it wasn't too bad in the mornings but all of a sudden this morning it wants to be humid so first let me go over what's in this thing it is a live lobster I just picked him up uh, like an hour and a half ago I stuck him in the freezer so he's not like trying to bite me and crawl away and all that kind of stuff poor guy and um, if you're squeamish if you don't like it when lobsters are um, cut up then uh, you might want to you might turn your head or something because this thing's gonna be live when I do it 
Right. So, um, if if the first thing you could do is uh, like the video, like this feed, and share it. Uh, that way, we can get as many people on here as possible to watch me uh, do lobster ginger scallion on the grill. And you can hashtag it, hashtag lobster ginger scallion, hashtag uh, grill beast, uh, grill beast for life, hashtag feast with the beast, all kinds of hashtags, right? Uh, Pat, how many people we got on right now? All right, so we got 79 people on. That's freaking awesome. So what is in this? Um, uh, ginger, right? I just cut this ginger up, right? It's julienne style, so uh, different people do this different ways. Uh, I do it like this because you're going to get a lot more um, flavor out of it doing it this way. Uh, we also have lots of scallions, okay? And then the bottom parts of the scallions, I you can see where I sliced them in half after I cut them into length, right? And that's going to add, help add more flavor too. And I add just a little bit of onion in, just like regular onion, white onion, whatever you got. Um, then we got uh, some butter. We're going to like make some lobster butter because when we cut this head off, it's going to have that like mustard inside. Anybody who's uh, big on seafood knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's in crabs. It's in lobsters. It's in, you know, it's like, I actually don't know what technical name of this stuff is, but you mix that with the butter, right? You mix it up. And then we make the sauce, we're gonna throw that in the sauce. Um, then we got some oyster sauce. Um, a lot of people, whenever they're doing any kind of Asian dish, a lot of them, a lot of people use a lot of suey. That isn't what you do. Oyster sauce, that's what you use. All right. Um, I also got some sesame oil, all right. And you can't do this without sake. Now I was gonna do, I was gonna drink the sake today. Um, but I just didn't feel like it. I actually, I just love drinking my drink um, that I drank already, you know, uh, grapefruit juice. Um, and, uh, but I will save this and, and, and drink some later. But you need this, uh, you can't do it without it. And then we have a little bit of olive oil, all right? And um, that's pretty much it for that. Let me uh, go over some announcements. Now last week, now, um, Last week I announced what our next VIP challenge is going to be, and it's going to be a fatty. So if you're in our Grill Beast VIP group on Facebook, you can be in the challenge. If you're not, you can't be in the challenge. You got to be in the group. So and the only way, the only thing you have to do to get into the group is you go join and then answer two questions. If you don't answer the questions, odds are they're not going to let you in, right? Because it's just simple two questions, right? How long you been grilling? And what's your favorite thing to grill? I mean, dude, it's like two things to type. Even if you're on your phone, it's easy. Um, now our share winners, Pat, I'm not looking at my phone. Our, oh, hold, hold up. Okay, so every week we run multiple contests um, for the show. Well, we do one contest on the show, which is um, the person who shares the most like shares this feed to the most places and also a random winner of people who share. So you have two chances to win when you share the, vid, the, the feed. You can be a random winner or if you share it to the most places, you can, get, you can win for sharing it to the most places. Last week, here, let me pull my phone up. Um, so I have Pat in my ear. In case you don't know, Pat is helping me with questions and all that kind of stuff. You Skyped it to me or you texted it to me, Pat? Okay, all right, hold up. It's easier if I just read it. All right, so uh, Kenny Stark has the most shares and Kathy Rooks is our random winner. So Kathy Rooks is our random share winner for last week's feed and Kenny Stark has the most shares for last week's feed. Congrats, dude, you guys get to pick any one of these grill beast tools um just one and we'll send it to you free shipping and everything dude it's cool so then we also have and i got this set up kind of cool so then we also have uh on instagram you're not gonna be able to see what i'm about to do because um there's no way for me to do it that way but we have banner of the week for grill beast vip facebook group was jason buffalo and this was what he gave us. See those beautiful chicken legs? 
man, those were those looked really, really good. That's why he won. Um, he won his choice of uh, a grill beast um, a barbecue tool. And then we also have our newsletter winner. If you're not subscribed to our newsletter, you, it's just impossible to win, right? You gotta, if you don't play, you don't win, right? So I have a link in the uh, description of our Facebook feed. Instagram doesn't allow us to do that, um, but it's vip.grillbeast.com. Uh, go there, sign up to our VIP program, which is absolutely free, and uh, you'll be automatically put into our uh, newsletter and then you, you will get uh, the directions on how you play, right? How you win. So this week was, uh, or last week, was you had to take a picture of yourself with one of our barbecue tools. And so uh, Robert Lewis Jr. decided to take his temperature with our beastometer. So he won. Again, um, Instagram, you can't see this. You know what? Maybe I can do this. All right. I don't know if you can see it now. That's kind of crazy. I don't know. I tried. Um, let me put this back one here. All right. So anyway, so um, Robert Lewis Jr. won our uh, newsletter of the week. He uh, he's not running a fever. Looks like he could warm up a couple tenths of degrees actually. So uh, that's it for the announcements. Again. Uh, share the feed. Pat, how many people we got on right now? 91. And we need 10 more people. So we'd be 101. 101. All right. I'm going to get started on this. This dude should be warming up in a second. Yeah, I took the picture down. Right. Okay. So, um, again, if you're squeamish, um, and you don't like, um, like it when lobsters are, are cut up, then, uh, uh, turn your head. So the first thing you want to do, you want to cut the, um, the big claws, right? Cut the big claws off. That way he can't bite you. It is a pain in the butt sitting when I'm doing this stuff. So there's a couple different... Here, let me put this over here. There's actually a couple different ways you can uh, do the claw part, but um, the next part is you see the head right here, right? There you go. Now, he's not going to feel nothing, right? So, you see this here? Actually, I need something to put that in. Let me grab, I need to grab a cup, all right? So, I need a cup, I need a cup. Right, so uh, sometimes what people do, they just put their fingers back here and yank the head off. I felt like I was doing them a favor by not doing that. So, and then I'm gonna take, all right, we set that aside. All right, so now we want to, um, Yank the tail off. We're going to cut that up a couple different ways. And then we also want to, what you want to do, we're going to cut right down center. And then right down the center again. So you see what you got here. And then, look here, you pull this shell off. Because see these, this is the, uh, the lungs. Uh, like on crabs, as a kid, we called them devil fingers. So you want to yank those bad boys off. You don't want to eat them. They'll make you sick. But you see what's happening is when you cut the lobster up like this, like a lot of times people only get lobster tails. Dude, there's a lot of meat in the lobster body, right? So... Um, so you don't want to throw all that away. So we're not done cutting him up. 
I want to get rid of these uh, lungs first. Right? Get all this out of here. Ooh, the flies are all over me now. All right, here we go. All right, this thing was just smiling just a second ago at me. I'm pretty sure he was smiling. Yeah, right before I cut his head off. All right, so um, so there you go. Anybody, uh, I can't see comments from this far away, so I don't know. Oh, okay, so the prizes for the winners. Um, the one with the most shares, uh, random shares, and banner of the week gets their choice of any one of these tools. Actually, you know what? The same thing goes for uh, Robert Lewis. So all the winners get to choose one of uh, Groby's uh, barbecue tool. Uh, on the VIP challenge, um, the monthly challenge, the one, this month is going to be the fatty. Uh, we have three winners. Uh, first place gets a $100 gift card to grillbeast.com. Second place is 50 And third place is $25. All gift cards to grillbeast.com. That way you choose whatever you want. Um, if, you're, you know, if it comes up a couple of dollars short, let us know. We'll make sure you don't have to pay shipping and all that kind of stuff too. Um, and that's... I'm not sure. You can ask him. I don't know. I, don't, I, I can't keep up with it. All right, so... All right, so whenever you have this, right? So this is, so now you just want to kind of cut it up into like um, sections, right? So um, we go, and there's no like real definite way to do it. You just do it. All right, so we got these. Look, I'm gonna just start throwing that stuff in the pan. Can y'all see the pan here? Yeah. All right. And I'm gonna cut this one into probably three sections. So the whole thing is, I remember the very first time I ever had this, I was like, wow, it's so easy to get to all the meat when you cut it up like this. Um, so there you go, you got that. And then uh, you wanna cut this into sections. Oh. It's easier if you have it shell side up. All right. I'll watch my finger. That would be a kind of a cool show to see somebody get their finger cut off. But it wouldn't be fun to see my finger cut off. All right, so you throw the head in there too. So now when it comes to the claws, there's actually um, a couple different ways. So you wanna, you wanna, uh, you wanna put a slice in it because you don't want the meat to fall out, right? So you just kind of crack, crack the uh, claw, right? See, all right. So you throw all that in there. This is a messy job, so don't have your Sunday clothes on. So actually you can go like that, you just kind of give it a little smash. That's another way to do it. And uh, with all this juice, it's kind of like a splash. What'd you say, Pat? <laughs> right, I know. I'm telling you, it's just what I said. All right, so with the claws, you can do this two different ways too. You can just go like this, you kind of smash it, right? Uh, but I want to try to do it the way um, they really actually do it. And uh, we will see if it works for me. Who the heck is trying to call me? Oh, somebody's trying to call Grill Beast. If you're on the show, um, please call back. All right, so see this? I did it right. So that's exactly the way you're supposed to cut it. These claws are hard, buddy. All right. There you go. There, look at all this mess. 
All right. Now, I'm going to take this and um, I'm going to get it over here and drain it. Alright, so, it looks like people like to see lobsters get uh, cut up. Alright, so now, we have uh, all of our lobster, it's in our beast roaster, and we're not going to put anything on this, right? Because um, lobster meat, um, you really want, in my opinion, like you do whatever you want. You want But this is lobster ginger scallion. We don't want to add anything to this. If we were doing it um, not on the grill, we would coat it with um, cornstarch and then flash fry it in grease. Uh, but we're not doing that. And the only reason you do that is because it, the cornstarch seals it up and so the grease doesn't penetrate the meat. Um, so, y'all can still see the grill. So we're gonna put this in. And I got that baby at like 400 degrees. Um, Anyway, do we have any questions right now? I can uh, I can field a couple questions, take just a couple minute break. Look, I start running my mouth and kind of forget about time sometimes. So uh, if you guys can remember, let me see, what about the claw that fell? No, I picked up that claw, Pedro. I was, I was not gonna let that happen. Um, so no claws getting away from me. Uh, what else? Claws are delicious. To me, uh, the claws are, are the best. Um, I mean, I love the whole tail. I love all everything about lobster, but the claws to me are, I remember the very first time I ever had a live Maine lobster. Oh my goodness. It was the most delicious thing I'd ever had in my life. And I loved you. All right. So is the grill beast great? Uh, no, the grill beast great is not one of the choices. So that, so that's why I try to say a grill beast barbecue tool. I mean, I guess you could technically say a grate is a tool in a way, but it's not. Okay? If you can hold it in your... No. Because you can hold the grate in your hand. If you use it in your hand, there you go. Now, you let me see. Dave, you might want to mention the Beast Nitro, some 100... Yes, that is true. That's why I have them kind of like right here front and center. We have our Beast Nitro. Um... On our very first order, we only ordered so many. We wanted to see how they go, and they are going pretty good so far. And uh, um, we're probably going to make it to where if you get on a subscription of these, uh, you can get even a better price. we got to figure that out. Uh, but right now, we just have it to where you can order them. we got medium, large, and extra large. So uh, I wear a large. Um, and I tell you, I, I showed people this last week. Look, I mean, these things... Um, I know when I check out gloves that are supposed to be four mil or five mil, I can't do all this with it, right? It, they end up snapping. So I don't know what the other people have, but we have some good stuff. Here, look, I got some, some, some hair in the way of Instagram. So let me see, very interesting nitro gloves. My experience has been a hit and miss on many on Amazon. So, um, so somebody just asked, what the mill thickness is. So the our mill and like it's to spec is four mil. So what I've learned by going through this process of getting these made is just because a company says they have four mil gloves doesn't mean they're four mil. And the only reason I say that is because I used to buy four mil gloves and I couldn't stretch them like I can these. Like they were not as thick as these. So I'm not telling you what to I'm not trying, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just letting you know, uh, companies do not always represent themselves in an honest way. Okay, we do. Um, so yeah, ours are four mil. And um, I mean, I know we've had a bunch of people in the group uh, uh, order, so you could ask them how they like them. Uh, yep, the meat hook, Andy Buffington, man, he got the meat hook. He was probably, I can't remember what number he was. But uh, Jason, I can't remember his last name. He lives in Las Vegas. He was the first one that ordered a, um, the pig, the pig, the pigtail meat flipper beast hook. 
And uh, every time we have a new SKU, for some reason it's uh, slow getting out the door. Um, what else? Yeah, I can read comments. Yeah, 167 on a live feed, Karen says. Sell them by the case. Uh, so, Nate, I, I do not sell them by the case yet because uh, I only have a limited amount of cases. But we could do case counts, right? Uh, the gloves look like they are, they are the real deal, uh, Chris. All right, so look, let me go check on this. Uh, here, I'll bring you all with me. So, can everybody see? Lobster! Yeah, buddy. All right. All right, you see how they're start, the shells are starting to turn red? So, you know when you cook uh, uh, shellfish in the shell, the flavor of the shell gets into the meat. All right, look, I'm gonna crank this up because I wanna get some smokiness in this. All right, so, uh, now the head, there's no, there's no head in the meat. It's pretty empty. Um, but we got all the body parts, everything here. So let me shut this. Um, I just cranked it up so we can get some smoke rolling. So that is one thing when you have a pellet smoker. If it's, if it's the temp, like it, it cycles. All right here, let me figure out where we're at. So a. Um, a pellet grill or pellet smoker cycles so it doesn't always kick out smoke so you need to learn that whenever you have one um, I did two butts on my smoker Friday night and um, you can adjust the uh, the P setting and it it tells you it, it controls how long the auger runs and then how long it rests Actually, it controls how long it rests. So, I can't remember the exact number. So, the auger automatically runs for like, say, 80 seconds. And then it rests depending on the P setting. So, um, like right now, I think I had the P setting at like 5, which means the auger does not run for like 135 seconds. And then it runs again. And that's how it regulates the heat. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, let me see. Good morning, Todd. So Todd and Adam hooked up, got together, had some barbecue, and Todd lent Adam his uh, barrel house smoker while he was on vacation. That was really cool. Um, Todd also sent somebody a gift, some skewers. Oh, uh, we still have our skewers on sale on Amazon, 40% off. So on our website, they're $19. On Amazon, they are eleven dollars and ninety-seven cents. That is only going to go till this till the supply runs out, and we're just trying to unload uh, Amazon's uh, supply, um, and then we're actually going to send more in. But because our we sent too much in on the on this uh, one time, they want to charge us a um, a storage fee, and we want to try to not pay the storage fee by getting rid of all the skewers before that time hits. And that time will be August 15th. So we have till August 15th to deplete the uh, inventory. Um, Brian Reeves, how you doing? Dennis, Paul, what kind of grill is that you're cooking the lobster in? All right, Paul, that is a uh, Rectech Bullseye. Uh, Dennis, yeah, so I would love to see Corby's logo, grill mat. Um, so are you talking about so who was it that said the grill mat? Dennis Cook. Are you talking about the kind of grill mat you step on, you stand on? Yeah, I think that's the kind you're talking about. That would be kind of cool to do. Uh, we have a whole line of stuff that's in the works, and um, it just takes time to roll things out. We actually have, uh, we rolled out like uh, a couple new products in July. We're rolling out, I know of three, the end of August, beginning of September. Uh, Stoker controller, it changes your world. Um, so, Bill Bachelor, you're talking about a Savannah Stoker controller. Are you talking about one that's for a charcoal or a wood burning unit or a pellet grill? 
Um, yeah, Sign of the Grill. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you were talking about, Dennis. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 in the works, man. We can only do so many. How you doing, Rob Tuffy? Um, you were late, man. You missed cutting up the lobster. What what the heck is wrong, man? Oh, has he? Okay, so. Yeah, the rubs have, I have yet hit another snag with my rubs. Um, I don't know what the heck, why, why I just keep hitting snags with these rubs, but it's, it's uh, really a pain in the butt. For some reason, I see other people doing them, and uh, uh, for some reason, I keep hitting snags with uh, um, co-packers. Um, so anyway, if you have not shared the feed, please share the feed. How many people we got on, Pat? Cause I've been running in my mouth, so that's probably yeah. So yeah, people got tired of hearing listening to me. So um, all right. So now we're gonna about to get ready to do. All right. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna pull. Um, I'm gonna pull the uh, my burner over here, so it's kind of like right here, and I don't have to keep moving everything. But um, we need to make our. Uh, our ginger sauce, right? Our ginger, our ginger scallion sauce. And so we're gonna put some oil in a pot. I brought two different skillets out here. I wasn't sure which one I wanted to use. Um, normally you use a wok. I don't have a wok. Uh, but, so if you don't have a wok, a cast iron skillet is the next best thing. Uh, because that skillet's gonna help add flavor to your, to your food. And so we're gonna put some oil in. Let me get, let me get, let me get this over there. Hold up, everybody. So can everybody see, can everybody see this? Let me go move this a little bit. Move the camera just a hair. And move that camera here. All right, so that's what we're gonna do right there, right there, right there. Lobster. Lobster is going good. Almost time to take it off. Not quite. I'm gonna give it just another minute. Oh man, yeah, it's starting to smell really good too. It didn't have that smell until it started around. Alright, so so one of the key things when you're doing this is you want your pan super, super, super hot. All right, so you just put it on high. You wanna adjust your flame. See that? You want your flame to be blue, all right? Not red. The blue is, blue, What's spam? Somebody's saying that. Uh, all right, dude, I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. All right, so look, this is what we got going on. Let me get everything opened up because we're about to throw down and uh, get serious. All right, so we got our sesame oil, we got our sake, we got our, our oyster sauce. Now, I'm not measuring any of this stuff out. I'm just not. Um, we have our garlic. Let me see what else. A little bit of cornstarch. This is brand new, so I need to open it. There we go. All right. Now, let me see. All right. So I'm going to take and I'm going to pull the, uh, let me just go ahead and put this glove on. I'm going to keep this glove on. So we do this with one glove. The Beast Armor does come with two, but I only need one. I don't know. I can, maybe I could just go ahead and put all boots on one. Screw it. That way I don't burn my hand. It's kind of weird putting them on with these uh, other gloves underneath. Yeah, it's 
make it look weird. Alright, so anyway, I got the gloves on. Alright, get some stuff out of the way. Oh, I need one more thing. See? All right, I forgot my plating. Uh... How you doing, Richard? Richard broke his ankle. Everybody, Richard broke his ankle. Showing off, trying to lift stuff in front of pretty girls and stuff. I know what he was doing. Oh, Mike C. Happy birthday, man. Um. All right. So look, you see that stuff? This is 400 degrees, I'm grabbing it. All right, so look, the lobster is done. The lobster's done. We're gonna put this on the side right here. Um, oh man, that smells really, really good. All right, I can shut that bad boy off. All right, get rid of some of the noise. All right, so what we're going to do, we are going to, uh, maybe I should move the camera so you can really see what's going on. What do you think, Pat? Move the chair. Yeah, I'm going to move the camera and everything. So, all right. All right, so hopefully you'll be able to see what we got going on. I should have had the pan on that heat. So, I think, yeah, I think I'm going to do, you know what? I'm doing this one. All right. Now, it's not light enough to where I can just flip the food. But, all right. Actually, I want to throw a little bit of sesame oil. Right? It's probably a little bit more than a little bit. A little bit of olive oil. That's probably a little bit too much. All right. So, can everybody see everything okay? Now, what we want to do, we want to get our, our ginger in there. All right? And you get this. You know, coat the whole pan with all this, right? And you want to get this going. These are your aromatics, right? This is what's going to add a lot of flavor to this sauce. Does that sound good when I uh, tap everything around? <laughs> All right, and then we want to throw some garlic. We'll get a little heavy on the garlic. All right. Remember, share this feed. See how hot that pan is? You just want super, super, you want to be smoking hot. All right, because all this is going to go really fast. All right. All right, so now we have that in there. We're going to let that cook just for a second. Yes, it is. Let me throw a little bit more sesame oil in there. Bit of olive oil in there. Alright. Tyler got up. Oh man, doesn't that smell good already? Woo! Too bad y'all can't smell it. Alright. So now at this point, I'm going to throw my onions in. Get them cooking. Right? We want to throw and toss those around a little bit. We're going to throw our lobster in. We want to, I'm going to throw the bottom halves 
of our scallions in. I don't want to throw the top halves in yet. Um, now, this is where it could get. There you go. That's what it's supposed to do. Yeah. And throw a little bit of oyster sauce in there. All right, I didn't get quite as much flame as I actually wanted to get, but it's all right. All right, so you want to get that, you're going to let that cook down just a little bit. What am I forgetting here? All right. All right, let that cook. How's that smell? You feel like you're in a Chinese restaurant? All right, so you see you got, oh man, that smells, oh, dude. Really, this is, I'm so excited to do this. I really am. Okay, the lobster is in here. I already cut that bad boy up. You missed it all. So my daughter Tyler just got up. And she loves seafood like I do. All right, so now we want to throw butter in. And I'm just throwing all the butter. And, uh... Wait, so the meat's in there? This is... The juice that was in the lobster. Alright. So... I know I need a taller uh, burner here, but that's okay. How does that look, everybody? Everybody. 126. All right. So for those of you who are just coming on, oh, shit, I almost forgot something. It's the only clean spoon I got. It's not that I want to use. I'm going to just use just a little bit of cornstarch. I almost forgot. Nobody reminded me. And that's going to help thicken up this uh, sauce. The sauce is almost done. So this is grilled lobster ginger scallion, everybody. All right, this is. Gonna turn the fire off for a second. All right, so. I think we're gonna use that plate right there. Nobody can see it. All right. All right, so now we want to ah. I forgot the scallion tops, everybody. All right, that's all right, because they don't need, they, they can't handle that much heat. That's why I waited till the end. We could say I just planned it that way. Oh, I gotta get down here if I don't go in my face. All right. So how does that look? I just dropped another dead on the floor. Tyler's trying to grab it. All right, so let me fix this up. Thank you. 
Go give me the tongs, Tyler. Behind you. Grab tongs. So, let's, the tongs are right behind you, sweetheart. Oh. Let me see if I can. So there's the head. And I dropped, uh, see tongs can be used for more than just cooking. So, there you go. What time is it, Pat? Here's the thing, everybody. I just did the show in 49 minutes. But, actually we're not done yet. Let me move all this stuff out the way. Plate this sucker right over here. Everybody see okay. All right. That cut my head off. Right, well, it's hot. I gotta let it cool down. Hey, Tyler, go give me a fork, please. Let's what? Give me that claw. She's over there stealing claws. No, hurry, go give me a fork. You can try it in a second, all right? Tyler is like dying to try it. Um, you hey, so here that was you know you know how hot that pan was. I have no clue, but I bet it was way over six seven hundred degrees because it had been on full high heat for what fifteen minutes, whatever it was. Um, and I was able to handle it like a champ, right? All right, so here we go. Man, um, technically I love the I love the claws better than anything, but uh, I'm going to first try an onion. Tyler, you want to try this? Huh? What are you eating? She got another no, piece of lobster the over one. there. It's the same one. She's a lobster thief. All right, so look, this is uh, part of the tail. Oh, this baby's still hot. Oh, look, it's cooked. It is cooked perfect. Yeah, I'm not done yet, though. All right. Wow. That is really good. So, hey, go get me some ice real quick, please. You'll get some lobster if you do. So this is how you get your kids to do things. <laughs> Bribe them with food. Especially when you got food that they love more than it. Like, she loves seafood as much as I do. Like, I love lobster, shrimp, fish, crabs, crawfish. She says more than I do, and that's fine with me. It's not a, I'm not in the contest for that. So, I'll give her that one. This is really good. Hopefully you guys learned something here today. If you didn't share the feed, share the feed. Even if you shared the feed, share it again because you can win. We get a random winner and a most shared winner every week mm -hmm. or every show. Yeah, go ahead and throw it in. The and uh, I need a refill. Does anybody have any questions? So, right. So, um, Tyler, you want to try this? Let me get you a nice piece of chunk here. Oh, come here. They want to see you try it. See? Now she has to go fix her hair. So now you know why she didn't try it first on camera. Because now she's holding up. See, I'm going to have her piece. It's good. Mm. 
Does anybody have any questions? Kenny, I am drinking vodka and grapefruit juice. It's my Sunday health drink. Right, Tito's, it's my Tito's health drink. Um, anybody else? Um, well, you know, you, you can do other things with this, right. You can add mushrooms to this if you want. You can actually, um, I've seen people do it with noodles also. Um, if you do it with noodles, you need like a little bit more sauce. You can use like a little bit of chicken stock or something like that. Um, but technically, like this is Cantonese style to the bone right here. Other than this is a lot, a lot, was a, was a live Maine lobster. Yes. Florida lobsters don't have the big claws, right? Um, and it didn't come from China. So, what's up? I just ate your piece. Right. Dude, you, you're late. Here, hold on. Let me find, I'm going to find your piece. I'm going to get you a good piece. Uh, not that one. Here, how about this one? Ah, <laughs> oh, here we go. Why don't you take, I'll get it out for you. A little bit of sauce on it. Get down here. They want to. They want to know you're being fed. <laughs> Is it good? All right. Mm. Well, no, 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 that's enough. We gotta take some pictures. Instagram. Sauce. I know the sauce is good. Dude, some of the onions and stuff. Well, you can chow down in a minute. But we got. See the way all this is. See, look, now you got her started. You'll be able to get to all the meat, right, from the belly, where the claws attach. See all that? You'll be able to get to all that meat nice and easy. Hold up. That's enough. Wait till, every, wait till we're done, and you can have the rest, right? Because I only want, like, a couple more tastes. All right. Let me, uh, here, let me up. Let me, uh... See if we got any questions. All right. So, uh, how many people we got on, Pat? Thanks, Kevin. So we had a pretty good showing today. Um, appreciate y'all uh, sharing the feed. Appreciate all the questions. Pre appreciate all the likes. Um, it's not too late to share. You can share all week. Like literally, we don't count the shares until Sunday morning. So you can come back and share it again and again, like go, you can come here every day and share it again, right? And then we track how many times people share. Um, let me see, you gotta get some Royal Reds and cook them more. What the heck is a Royal Red? Kathy, what, Kathy, what are, look it up, Pat. Look, I don't know what Royal Reds are, but we're gonna look it up and find out what they are. So, Tyler, hold up. I knew I should have got two lobsters. I should have got two. You can have it in a minute. Uh, no, look, see, now she's trying to run off with the food. See what y'all started? Feed your kid first. That's why. All right. Um, oh, really? Okay. All right, we have to check that out. No, don't sit on that. That, can't, that will not support you. No, I'm saying that table's weak. You're obviously skinny. Um, let me see. Empty plate picks coming soon. That's right, Nate. So, look. Uh, anybody who does this dish and posts it in the group, do, um, do hashtag Feast with the Beast. Okay? And then we'll, tr we'll see if we can track them down. And then um, I'll pick a winner out of that. All right? And you will not be sorry you've done this. Like, it's going to be something new to probably most people. Um, it's not something that most people make at home. Oh, actually, so how about this? Just do hashtag 36. That makes it nice and simple. Hashtag 36, and that's what I'll look for. Okay? So, um, and if you do it, 
you get a chance to win something. All right. Actually, you know what? If you do it, you get a chance to win a beast roaster. All right. Since that's the tool that I use today, um, or either a beast roaster or a, uh, a pack of nitro gloves. Oh man, these things are soaking wet. That daggone lobster is leaking all over the place. Um, no questions. Thanks for the barbecue. Enjoy. All right, Earl. So look, um, I truly hope I'm bringing something to you guys that uh, you don't feel you would have got anywhere else. And I don't know anybody else that's doing lobster ginger scallion on the grill. I truly, I've never seen it done before. So, and that's actually the first time I ever did it on the grill. So, um, say that a pet. Oh, so, um, so somebody asked, um, how do you enter? Oh, okay, here it is. I see it. Kevin Strawn, uh, he asked, how do you submit uh, pictures for the banner? Well, you don't really submit them if you're, you have to be in the Grill Beast VIP group. Um, it's free, right? It's on Facebook, Grill Beast VIP. Uh, you enter, and then look at who's eating all my lobster. Uh, yeah, just eat the onions. After I take pictures, then you can eat the rest. Um, you just need to be in the group and post. So what I do is on Friday, I try to do it late Friday night, but last couple of weeks has been early sun Saturday morning. But Friday or Saturday, I'll go through the previous, the whole week's um, submit post. Like, they're not even submissions. They're just like, if you cook something and you post it in the group, that's submitted. It's that simple, right? You don't have to do anything special other than make a post about your food. I go through and I just find the ones that I like, and then I just keep narrowing it down to, and you know, people win for different reasons, right? Um, sometimes it's just a pretty picture. Sometimes it's just something I really like. I don't know. You know, some people I think get upset because I don't really have any set standards for that, but I think that's what makes it fun. I don't want people to work for this. I just want people to have fun and enjoy, and then all of a sudden they get surprised they won something. That's the way I like it. Right, because um, if it's if it's always about the pretty picture, well, the same people would be winning all the time, and that's not fair. So, not the, fair is probably not the right word or the term. But um, you know, I want everybody to win, and the only way to win is to be in it. Right, but hey, there's other ways to win. You can share the feed, right? You can share the feed to most. You can be on the newsletter and get informed on what contest, newsletter contest we're doing. Um, or you can just cook and submit your stuff and then you could get lucky and win. Um, yeah, that's right. You, Andy uh, Hersner, you can't beat lobster for breakfast. And that's a daggone fact. Let me see. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I'm just looking. Instagram. I don't see any questions. Oh, uh. Yeah, I know. It's impossible to be under an hour. Uh, Richard, I'm laughing so hard. A pick of shells. You're only going to have. <laughs> right. Right, I know. I'm only going to have a picture of empty shells uh, to post on Instagram this week. So uh, I'm going to have to probably do it again. Poor me, right? Uh, go get another lobster. Lobster was only $21. Not too bad. Um, all this stuff here. Literally, I mean, because this stuff will last, you know, for a long time. You got sesame oil. I mean, I don't know. I got, including the lobster, probably 60 bucks. But um, most of the stuff will last uh, many, many cooks, right? So um, remember, if you're doing an Asian dish, uh, most Americans think to put tons of soy sauce on it. Oh, Do know. not. You use oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. No soy. Soy sauce is a right but some people try to do like well, um I mean it is fried rice with soy sauce and all that no. you use oyster all right um your lobster is going to be gone yeah i know shannon um i do have fun and you teach me a lot earl earl fools thank you very much man uh so look everybody uh it's been a pleasure um i really appreciate y'all being on here i appreciate y'all sharing and liking the feed and, um, you know, you guys can, like, ask me to do certain things on the feed, too. 
Like, um, you know, I mean, I go in and I just kind of find something that I think everybody would like want to learn how to do or something that they wouldn't normally do. And um, so thanks, uh, Pops, on um, – that could be a contest. So we'd have to figure that out. So we – yeah, actually, that's a pretty good idea, Pat. So Pat just suggested that could be actual a contest too. People submit ideas for the show – and every time I pick somebody's, the problem with that is there's going to be more than one submission of ideas. So then people are going to, um, if I pick that submission, they're going to think it's their time to win when actually somebody else submitted the same idea. So, so here, so that, that idea is gone. <laughs> so we're not doing that. We're not doing that one. That's just going to cause me to get a bunch of messages that uh, kind of like hate mail. And um, I, get, I get all kinds of messages already. All right, look, peace out, everybody. How many people are on, Pat? All right, so we're winding down. People are leaving. That means they're tired of hearing me run my mouth, which I am too. And I'm going to finish my drink. And actually, I think I'm going to, because I'm sweating, like, really, really bad, I'm going to take me a shower, and I'm going to lay on the couch for the day. I have, uh, I don't know, um, I'm tired. But I'm going to eat me some lobster before Tyler eats it all up too. All right, peace out. Love you. Thanks a lot. Next Sunday, 10 a.m. Central, Feast with the Beast, episode 37. Share the feed, win something, get into the group, share your cooks, share your ideas. Um, that's it. Peace out. Love you. Peace. Bye.